Smoky 1000 and today we got a little, I found this at Walmart, this little key thing and I'm going to put my keys on it so we don't lose them and I know where they are and what I'm going to do is paint it, I'm going to paint it white and bring you along with it. It won't be a very big video but I was going to spray paint it but the thing is I got to, I would have to wrap these all these three up and try to spray it and so I decided I'm going to try the brushing instead so I bought two different kinds here I'm going to use the sponge one and see how well it works and see if it'll be a lot smoother than a regular brush because I'm afraid if I use a regular brush it'll just show the brush marks so that's what I'm going to do and we'll use this one and we'll just brush it, brush it on there as best we can. Try not to get that little hook in the back because, yeah. And then we'll hook it up and we'll use it. I have my other one that I did, um, I made a while back, but it fell off the, fell and it broke. So I never redid another one. So I found this one at Walmart and I just figured, well, I'll just do this and paint one. So I'm gonna put some paint on here, maybe. Let's see what we can do here. Oh, gotta take the thing off. That might help. Yeah, I'll take this off and I'll just put this in here. And I'm just gonna put it on the paper and dab it. That's what I'm gonna do. There we go. And we'll just dab it. Yeah, I got some on me already. I'm not a paint person. I wear more paint than I do on the thing. Okay, so here we go. Painted it white because my I have a lot of white in here and stuff, so I thought it would look nice if I painted it white. So I'm just gonna brush it on and I'm gonna let you come down and see. So hold on just a sec. So now you can see a little bit better. You'll be upside down a little bit. So I'm just gonna brush it. I might have to do a couple of coats on this. And uh, yeah, it might take a little bit to do. So and I'm just dabbing it with paint. And we'll see what it looks like. I'll do a little bit here so you can see what I'm doing. And I'm hoping this is awful light. I might have to do a couple of coats on this. I thought it might have been a little bit. I like these little sponge things though. They seem to work pretty good. So I'll just go up and around a little bit. Trying to get inside as she can. sitting on the sofa so y'all hear her she's watching a program and I had to turn it down so I could do my video one bad thing about a small house everything's done in the same room get inside there a little bit so it looks halfway decent we've been getting a lot of rain can't go outside and do anything of course the roof had to leak 
I got some guy coming out Saturday to give me at least an estimate so at least know, we'll know where we stand. So hopefully I'll be able to go to work soon and uh, be able to get some money together. If you know any programs or anything that are free here around in Florida that helps with that, let me know. I asked the lady that um, that's going to come out and do an estimate. She said not in Citrus County. She hasn't heard nothing. But she said they do in Marion County have a program, but they don't have it in Citrus. Go figure. I live in Citrus County. So... Not to say there isn't one here, it's just that she hadn't heard. And they come, their office is in Claremont where I usually work. So, they were quite nice people on the phone. So we'll see what, I, what they say. And at least they won't know. And then I'll get me another estimate too. One other one that I had that they called for me, um, it's like a, a place you call just for roofing and they find something close to your home or that would that are reputable. So they're not going to rip you off. They're usually big companies, but the big companies want a lot of money too. So you can't win. I don't know if they'll let me do payments or not, especially with me not being wor working right now. And I don't know when I'll be able to go back to work. They're not saying. As long as I'm, you know, in pain and doing these exercises, I don't think they're going to let me go back. So I got at least four more weeks, I figure. And then we'll go from there. And the neurologist, I don't know when that will happen. So. Trying to get all in here inside with this. But I figure I probably have to put a couple of coats on this. It's not as white. But you never know when you see it dry, it might be different. You know? Oh. Anyways, it's cute. I got it in the craft department at Walmart. And maybe this one won't break. But I liked my other one. I really did. It just fell off the wall one day. Door was slammed too hard and just went crashing down and broke. I was going to fix it and then I found this one. So I was like, forget it. I'll just do this and paint it. I think I paid like four, four fifty for it somewhere in there. It wasn't that much. But I was afraid that I'd have to wrap all these these black hooks here, and um, you know, just spray paint it. And so I just I brush it on. See how well that works. it up. Make sure we don't have any drippings. Okay guys, that was a parcel for my mom, so yep. Always something. Yep. That was FedEx. Dog gets upset when people come to the door. He has to let everybody know in the house. So, anyways, I am going to probably fast forward this a little bit so then you guys don't have to sit through the whole thing. And
Just got to be careful around these edges here. water paint so it shouldn't matter too much I mean I have to wipe it off let me get a paper towel real quick and I see that drip right there yeah, I got a paper towel hold on there. Let me see here. We can get in there. We were going to um, put the tent up and sleep in the tent in the backyard because at night it's getting a little bit cooler. Not real cold, but cooler for Florida. But with all the rain, we haven't been able to do that. And we were going to go boating. I guess we were going to go in, up and down the river a little bit. But every time we think about it, it's raining. And we've had a lot of rain. I hope you can see this. I'm kind of on an angle here. Let me get these drippings here. Yeah, I'm not liking this drippings. Cute. You hold it backwards a little bit. You can kind of brush it in here this way. Might be better to do it this way. You don't really have to do the back. I'm not going to. I'm just trying to get inside where the letters are. As that can be seen. I don't got any drippings or anything in the back. I'm just wiping them up. These are cute. They have all kinds of different things uh, um, in the craft department. I'm sure some of you have seen them. Some people just rather do it this way you know do a craft this way and just paint it and you can paint it yourself you know whatever you want what color you know go with your decor in your house whatever you like so i'm painting it white because my doors are white which i'm going to get ready to repaint them i think soon you need another paint job on them and uh, cleaning up so it's been six years since I've been in here so it's kind of time to clean some of that up so how's that looking in the front here not bad Trying to get the drippings and that. Yeah. 
I gotta put another coat on, I don't care. Don't matter. You know? I'm kinda of going stir crazy. I'm not I'm used to working. <laughs> Even if it was only down to a couple times a week because of COVID, at least it got me out of the house and I was doing it. Seeing people. I'm sure you can all relate. Me get used to work and it's hard to get out of that habit. I'll just try to get some of these drippings here. Okay. I'm gonna lay it back down so we don't get all these drippings everywhere. these brushes at least you can you know catch these drippings so it makes it a little bit smoother dry for now there you go hopefully you can see that pretty good there hopefully you didn't have it up isn't it cute that oh, looks big in that frame camera it is very cute so I'm just gonna let it dry for a little bit and then I'll come back and I'll see if it needs another coat probably does because I can still see the wood in that so we'll do another coat um, and go from there I'll have to let this dry I think this is quick dry, so it shouldn't take too long. Yeah, let me get in here a little bit. fussing now. Alright, so we're going to let it dry. Oop, let me get this part right here. And we'll, we'll be back. Stay tuned. I think I set it up. Yeah, that way it's not. It can dry like that. We'll be back. guys so I am back I hit the recording button before I wanted to but that's okay <laughs> anyway so I put a second coat on it it took two coats and I think it turned out really well as you can see I like using this little doodad here I think that worked out really nice um, better than just brushing it on it's hard to get in into the middle of the names you know of the names so um, but I did it. It got there and it dri dried. I had to, you know, wipe off a few drips to make sure it didn't drip and stuff. Um, yeah, so I'm going to hang it up and I'll show you where I'm going to hang it and we'll come back. Okay, guys, so there you go. I got it on there. And I put the keys on there and everything. I use these little push things instead of a nail because, um, you know, it kind of matches these a little bit. So it's a little dressier. Um, and I had them. So that's what I did. And there's the keys. So it took a little bit to, in between drying and I got busy with other things too. So 
you know I think it's really cute and um, yeah so there you go that concludes my little painting um, crafting thing so if you're interested in buying these I got them at Walmart you know I think it's a little handier I did like my other one but it broke so there you go I got something else so that kind of helped and there you go and um, yeah so that's it for now um, monkey sushi is out and y'all have a great rest of the week I will probably try to do another video when I can probably maybe maybe tomorrow I'm not sure yet we want to go boating but it's rained after rain after rain so we haven't been able to do any boating at all so kind of sucks anyways so anyways i hope you enjoy the video and take care and see you in the next one bye y'all